The countdown is on less than two weeks until the eclipse, focusing on eastern Canada. The big question is, what is the cloud situation going to be? So before we can get too technical on the forecasting, let's look at which scenario will play out the best. Let's start with the ideal scenario, nothing but clear sunny skies. That's going to be the best for photos of the sun, impacts of the light change and the temperature change at the surface. Now, if we can manage just a little upper level cloud, maybe some thin cirro stratus cloud, that is still going to be a great experience. It's just going to leave those pictures being a little fuzzy of the sun and you just kind of have to take off an edge of the uh, the perfect situation. Now, if we can get some cumulus clouds, it's going to be a game time decision whether the sun is going to be behind a cloud for you. Maybe the other side of town, it's perfect. Those clouds will also be shrinking as the darkness sets in because we're turning off that convection. Now, the worst case scenario, a fully overcast day, can't see the sun at all, but you'll still be able to focus on the complete darkness that sets in. The contrast just won't be quite as big. Now, in the coming days, that's when our models are going to start coming in range. We'll actually be able to do a little forecasting for what to expect.